Let me show you how we can improve battery life on Nothing Phone 3A. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we can do is go to settings. In fact, everything that I'm about to show you will be in settings. And the first thing that we can do is go to lock screen, scroll all the way down and go to always show basic info of lock screen. This is of course always on display and if you want to prevent battery draining and battery aging or actually slow down, not prevent, then we can turn off always on display. It definitely uses more battery um, when we have this option enabled. Another thing that is worth enabling is the adaptive brightness which can be found in the display settings over here we have the uh, adaptive brightness which can be enabled and disabled this is the automatic brightness that works based on the light of the environment around us or if you don't want to use the adaptive brightness then you just have to lower down the brightness level manually then we also have the screen timeout which can also increase the battery consumption and the same goes with screen attention uh, which of course in this case if you want to save the battery you should uh, lower the screen timeout to for example 30 seconds or even 15 seconds for the sake of my um, convenience I actually use five minutes uh, so it doesn't turn off while recording the video but essentially you get the idea then we also have the dark theme which is enabled by default but I believe some of you prefer to have the light theme however you need to keep in mind that uh, using dark theme actually helps you um, with the battery it uh, increases or actually decreases the battery consumption if you use the dark theme. If you don't like to use dark theme all the time you can also create a schedule instead so that the dark theme will be enabled for example only uh, at evening. The next thing that is worth con considering is the display refresh rate which by default is set to dynamic and of course that is really good this is the perfect middle ground between the 60 and 120 hertz you still use 120 hertz but of course in some cases it drops down in order to optimize the battery life so definitely it is worth using it however if you want to maximize the battery life then it is um it is good to use the standard version of course you will limit yourself to 60 frames per second uh, so it is a drawback um, but uh, if you um, if you think it is worth sacrificing the smooth and display then of course you can decrease the hertz of the screen then we also have the HDR display which even the description says that this increases the battery usage so you can actually turn it off if you don't really use the HDR display or if you don't even notice the difference um, between this option being used or not. Alright, so now we're gonna go to battery settings because over here we have last several options that are key to uh, fixing battery drain issues. First and foremost, it is recommended to use a battery saver. You can manually enable and disable it, but also for your convenience, you can set a schedule based on percentage. So if the battery drops, let's say to 30%, then uh, the phone will automatically enable the battery saver and if you charge your phone you can automatically turn off at 90% it is actually a little bit inconvenient and I'm gonna tell you why in a second that it is capped at 90% but in general we can turn this option on or off so you don't have to manually disable battery saver when the battery is charged and why is it inconvenient well we're gonna go to the battery health this time and we have two options, we can use smart charging mode, which is, I believe, used by default. And this char this char with this mode, the battery charges statedly um, overnight to preserve long-term battery health. However, we can also set it to custom charging mode, which caps the charging to 70, 80 or 90%. And this is why it is a little bit inconvenient for the battery saver, because if you, for example, limit the battery to 80%, then um, the battery saver will not be disabled automatically ever because you never reach 90% and too bad there is no option that allows you to adjust the turn off uh, percentage for the battery saver but it is what it is uh, so essentially the custom charging mode like I said allows you to limit charging uh, to the selected percentage so when the battery reaches any of these percentages then it stops charging and 80% is I think ideal at least for most of the batteries including I believe this one over here that we have in this phone because essentially if you want to prevent battery aging for as long as possible 
then the ideal range for the battery is between 20 and 80 percent so you want to start charging when you reach 20 percent and you want to stop at 80. of course it can be inconvenient for some people because you have to charge more often you don't really charge to a full 100 percent so you are missing those 20 percent but of course this is why we can also set this option to 90 percent which is also just good not as good as 80 percent um, but just good enough there is op also the sleep standby optimization which is enabled by default so it is also recommend recommended to use this option to keep it enabled and there is also the adaptive battery which is also recommended to use because this option limits battery for apps that you don't use too often so they don't drain the battery as much as they usually do and that is essentially it these are the essential tips that we can use on nothing phone 3a in order to solve the issue with battery draining slow down the process of battery aging and in general improve the battery life thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos bye